Welcome folks to Aunt Sandy's Kitchen and today we are going to be cooking fresh squash. It's summertime, everything's growing. Kenneth went to the market, got some fresh uh, squash and I've, uh, you wash it and you look for uh, bad spots. I found a, a little hole and uh, always check your squash because there might be a little worm in there or something. If you see a little hole, I cut that out and washed it. And I've cut it up, sliced it up like this, just um, regular thin slices. We're going to cook it today. We're going to boil it. Put down in the comments uh, what kind of way you like your squash cooked. I like mine boiled or I liked it I like it fried or in a casserole. Uh, my favorite's the casserole, squash casserole. My recipe for my squash casserole is down in the description. So go there to get the recipe. So uh, I've cut up an onion. I just sliced it in little, uh, a half an onion. I just sliced it in little thin things there. And I got uh, some butter and a cup and a half of water. I'll see if I use that uh, all because, you know, squash does give off water. Let's get to cooking. I got my, um, my pot. I got my eye on. We're going to pour this. This was about um, 10 squash, I think, that was in here. I've got that peeled. And uh, we'll put the half of an onion. And we'll put about three or four tablespoons of butter. We'll put probably uh, a teaspoon of salt and pepper, both. There's my pepper. Salt and see how much water. Mix it all up. Put the rest in there. We're going to let it come to a boil. Keep my lid like that. And uh, when it comes to a boil, I'm going to cut it down to medium and let it cook for about uh, 20, 30 minutes uh, and it's, until it's tender. You can stick a fork in it or a knife or something until it's tender. And so it don't take long to cook and it'll be uh, good with some cornbread, which I will make. Well, we finished cooking the squash, and here it is. It's so tender, it's delicious, tastes great, easy to make. You just boil it with the onion and the butter and salt and pepper. It don't take that long. So I hope you uh, try it. The recipe's down in the description. And we had meatloaf and uh, cornbread. So I hope you uh, try this recipe. And uh, it was delicious. Go check out my Etsy store for Aunt Sandy's merchandise. Thank you for watching my videos. And all, as always, God bless.